Welcome back to Insurmountable. Do you know what it's time for? The final mission. Explosive Force. You need to bring your charged amulet to the highest peak in the mountains in order to destroy the time loop. Reach the summit and escape the time loop. Hmm. Let's see what kind of a map we have. I'm guessing a very bad one. <laughs> It doesn't say anything about what kind of environment it is, like... Normally it says, a vast and impenetrable mountain formation. This one just says this instead of that. But we have very bad weather. Significantly increased pro probability of cold and stormy weather. We have minus one sanity per hour when moving. Plus 20% time cost on all terrain. Plus another one we get to choose. Jesus Christ. This makes it so that everything costs 50% more energy if it's stormy. Jesus Christ. Uh, I think I'm going to go with the oxygen one. Like, we already have increased probability of cold and stormy weather. We don't need even worse things associated with cold and stormy weather. Now, there's no bonus for any particular character, and it doesn't matter even if there was, because I, th I think this is the end of the game. So the question is, what's the most powerful character? I think it's for sure not the adventurer. It's definitely either the journalist or the scientist. But which one? I think it's the journalist. The scientist's mad genius skill is very nice, for sure. But... I think what makes the journalist so powerful, aside from the single-minded skill, which is super good, is just the fact that you get so much when you reach points of interest and when you level up. So you reach a point of interest, you get 160 experience, which makes it more likely to level up, and when you do level up, you gain a whole bunch of things. Um. You also gain 12 energy every time we hit a point of interest. Yeah, and we get minus 5 sanity loss in events. I think that's really powerful. I think they're more powerful than the scientist. I'm going to go with the journalist. Now what do I want to take? How much is temperature a problem? Right, there's increased probability of cold and stormy weather, but there isn't extremely bad temperatures. So I don't think I need two pieces of warm clothing. I think one is fine. Mm. Yeah, there's thin air. So for sure I want oxygen, and I think we unlocked the high quality oxygen mask. So let's toss this back, put on the high quality version. That's good for oxygen. Fur gloves high quality. I think that should be good for temperature. I don't think I need two pieces. So I hope I don't regret this, but let's to toss the boots. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with high quality snow boots. Okay, let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that zoom though. Oh, that's really far away. You stare up at the sky. It seems that escaping the time loop will be more complicated than you thought. Plus, that young woman is playing some kind of game and you have no idea why. You still don't really trust her. Wait, playing some kind of game? What do you mean? Despite that, it is now your job to take the amulet with you to the top of the highest summit. The glowing pulsing stone must break apart at precisely the point where the time loop is most vulnerable. It's the only way to destroy the temporal anomaly. At least, in theory. And since that's your best shot, you have declared yourself willing to carry out the hardest part of the mission. To climb and to survive. 
Hmm. Well, we are very low in elevation. So we're going to be out of the death zone for quite a while. Where do I want to go? What route? I don't know. Like, I don't know if that's a dead end or what over there. No, it doesn't look like it. No, it's definitely not a dead end. Hmm. Yeah, let's go this way. Someone sleeping. Do I want to sleep? There's really no point. Nah, let's just leave. Sanity or energy back? Let's get sanity, because I've already lost a surprising amount. Right now, body temperature loss has increased. I'm not actually losing that much body temperature, though. Like, I don't know if I want to use single-minded yet. Actually, I think I do, because... Well, that's a lot of bad terrain. Fragile ice... Give it a try. You collapse onto the embankment and stow the canned food in your pack. That's going to taste good. Yay. Mm. Sanity is already disturbing me a little bit. So I'm going to get mindfulness. <clears throat> There's so much dangerous terrain here. Thank God for single-minded. Oh, it's that super strong brew. Yeah, accept their offer. We lose some time, because I think we fell asleep, and oh wow, we lose a shit ton of temperature. A shit ton? 43? We can get some of it back with hot tea, but goddamn. Hmm. I'm not too worried about oxygen at the moment. I am worried about body temperature. Now. I need to take warm thoughts. Hmm. Come across a corrugated metal shipping container. It's covered in rust. Oh, the body temperature loss is just horrible. I'm going to continue. I don't want to spend time on that. But then again, it's not any different than just the temperature loss from moving. So that makes me want to sleep, but I have 100% energy, so that would be a massive waste. So I guess I'm just going to suck it up. And have some hot tea. Actually, there's no reason to. Why?
drinking buddies. Oh, we find them and they're sleeping. I can search their valuables? That's so fucked up. Wake them up and share a round of my own drink. Yeah, I'm so glad I didn't drink the hot tea. I got a warm cap, high quality. And some sanity and experience. I... Actually, I'm going to put that on right now. I don't need the oxygen mask at the moment. And I definitely need temperature. Ooh, stay warm. 0.5 body temperature per hour when moving. Active for the whole mission. Heck yeah. Despite all those things, I'm still losing temperature fast. Man, night plus cold temperature? Nasty. But I'm guessing we're going to start gaining temperature now that it's not going to be cold and it's going to be daytime. Probably going to gain quite fast, actually. Now energy cost for climbing has increased, but yeah, we are gaining quite fast now. Our temperature. I'm kind of scared I have a dead end here. Um, you catch whiff of a tantalizing fragrance on the breeze. You follow your nose, which leads you to an indigenous man standing in front of a ramshackle hut. A mysterious brew bubbling away in his brewing kettle as it sits over an open fire. The scent alone is invigorating. What sort of effect might the brew have on you if you were to take a sip? I'm going to ask for a taste. When the stranger notices you, he stares daggers. He shouts at you, and while you don't understand the words, you certainly get the message. You're not welcome. You don't want any trouble, so you continue your journey. Fair enough. Hmm. No reason to sleep yet. Maybe I'll lose some energy in this event. Bunker. Walk through the door. Mm, try to force the door. Yeah. Oh no. All I did was hurt myself. Great. Let's sleep off the ouchie. Partially. Yeah, still worried about my sanity, so I'm going to take mindfulness again. So yeah, if I want to get over there, which I do... I mean, I suppose I could also go up that way. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. I think I want to go that way, but why? Why do I want to go that way so bad? What's so special about that way? I guess it looks more gradual. But it's more out of the way. I think this way's better. Sunlight. Yes, I can actually see what the hell I'm doing. Man, yeah, that's fine. But yeah, I think it'd be better if I went over there. More gradual if I go up kind of that way instead of like up the sheerest freaking face in the world. I don't even know if I can get up here. There's a lot of impassable terrain. Where does it suggest? Oh, there is a pathway. It just uses all of the energy.
Do I? I have snowshoes, don't I? Yeah. Oh my god, that's a lot of bad terrain. That's a lot of bad terrain. Okay, we're gonna use single-minded. Actually, be a way up here. Like, eh. yeah. Is there a way up from over here? Well, apparently there is. Kind of doubt it's any better than this, though. Actually, that's pretty bad. Yeah, let's go over here. We can get this treasure chest along. Oh, hold on. Stop, stop, stop. I didn't notice the cave. Okay, let's get these two treasure chests and then go to the cave and then we'll head up the mountain. Oh, there's a couple other things back there too. Control center. Hmm, let's go inside some experience. Oh, something leaped at me. Bear cub? You peer into a dark cave in the rock face. You're met with an overpowering stench of death and decay. In the back of the cave, you can just make out the bulky shape of something enormous. Probably an animal carcass. As you turn to leave, you hear a faint whimper. You venture into the mouth of the cave where you discover a bear cub looking up at you with terrified eyes. <gasps> oh no, help the cub. You crouch down and extend a hand toward the animal. It approaches you cautiously, then nuzzles your palm. You scratch it behind the ears for a few minutes until its panicked breathing steadies. You slowly stand to leave the cave. It breaks your heart, but there's nothing more you can do. Mm, baby. Get more stuff when we wake up. Yes. Hoping for sanity or temperature. Sanity, yes. Oh, wow. That's... That's horrible. Oh no, rubble. Um, try to find a different path. Okay. Lost a lot of temperature. Can I avoid this? Like, if I go here, where do I go from there? Well, let's go here, and then it'll be daylight and we can actually see something. You know what? Wait. Like, why would I go to sleep? What's the point? I don't need energy. It's about to be daytime. I might as well just continue up. I mean, I might get equipment, though. Okay. Let's take a look. <laughs> nah, that's awkward as hell. But I could... Uh, mm. Okay, that's good enough, I guess. Cage. Enter the cage. Oh, high quality crampons. Cool. For ice. Follow the wind. Oh, we get an injured torso. Oh, it just hurts our oxygen. That doesn't matter. I guess I'll s sleep. Um. Oh, 
Maybe not. No, I want to make use of my mindfulness as much as I can. Let's not sleep. I don't need energy, really. No, actually, literally, I don't need energy. I just realized. It must have went up when we... Alright, we get energy when we hit a point of um, interest. Forgot about that. So weirdly enough, I think it triggered after we left. Single-minded, so we can just walk across this horrible stuff. God, this is such a large level. Oh, there's so many vents up here. Nice. A buried chest. Mm, dig it out. I'll find some canned food. Oh no, spots on that body. Continue. Hmm. Plus two sanity per hour when moving for 16 hours, but less sanity when resting or in events. I think that might be worth it right now. These are all good. These are all very good ones. But yeah, I'm most worried about sanity at the moment. So let's take it. This way is a horrible route. For one of my canned food, which they can absolutely have, I can get a bandage, a tent, or an oxygen bottle. I think a tent. You really don't want to be without a tent. Wishing tree, health or energy? Don't really need either. I guess I'll take health. Just to top me up. Hmm. It's not a very good route. Really quite sure to head where to head to be honest you reach a small plateau with monoliths arranged in a circle the remnants of an ancient culture a figure in a long cloak is crouching on the ground muttering something unintelligible then they rise and knock over the stone pillars one by one uh, i don't want to start a fight let's just watch them there's something strange about this figure and you're filled with fear Nevertheless, you're unable to take your eyes off of them. Eventually, they notice you and give you an angry look. You want to say something, but you can't get your words out. Then they hurry away, leaving you bewildered. I don't think I'm going to sleep here because it's about to be daytime. But let's follow the wind and we get a fucked up torso again. Also still fine. Oxygen's not a problem at the moment. We get 
energy just by hitting a point of interest. That is so good. That is really powerful. I think we are going to be in the death zone soon, though. Yeah, death zone is right there. Trapped. Hmm. Quickly yank my foot out of the crack. Yeah, we're fine. Follow the noise, use my flashlight, some XP, and a bandage. Any point in sleeping? Mm. I mean, I could use a little bit of energy. But no, I don't want to sleep. It's going to be cold. And we're going to start losing temperature again. I want to get some moving in. Clear mind. I might have trouble keeping that active. It won't even be active now. So I don't think I want that. Um, I guess under the stars? Probably never actually going to get any use out of that, but... Man, the terrain here is so just up and down and cracks in between. It's really odd. Oh, look at all the events over that way. <laughs> if I wanted to go from there to there, I gotta go all the way around. How many of those do I actually want to hit? And if I want to go here... We can go that way. You really can't go, like, this way? Is this... Does that not go anywhere? No, no. That will lead to it. That's not a dead end. That looks much better. My god, look at how much more we have to go. Let's see, single minded. head. Uh, do I examine the relic? I suppose so. Oh, we gain sanity by examining the wolf's head? Okay, cool. Climbing axe. Let's put that on. Don't need the flashlight. Let's hope and pray this gives us sanity. I think it will. Yes. Where's the death zone? Right there. So that cave is out of the death zone. That one right there. There's another cave down there as well. I might want to get that depending on how the route looks. I think I'm going to skip all that. That's weird. Maybe I'll go more... This way? I guess? I don't know if that looks any better. Oh, 
Let's go this way. Now oh, we might as well get that. That's close. Only one dangerous terrain in the way. Ooh, there's a little treasure trove over here of events. A hatch. This is new. You clear a path through a straggly patch of brush. You hear a dull metallic thud as your boots make contact with a round hatch in the ground. Wait, round hatch? That's not round. That's rectangular. It takes you a few seconds to fully take in the strange discovery you've made. Uh, knock loudly. <laughs> you pound on the hatch with your fist. Nothing happens. You pound on it again, louder this time. No one answers. The hatch remains firmly shut. It's probably some sort of bunker that the occupiers abandoned long ago. You decide to move on. No, don't move on. I want to know what's in the hatch. Damn it. Oh, Jesus. Um. Oh, Christ. That's a lot of blue. I'm going to lose a lot by going over all that. Maybe worth it? No, not worth it. Zone. Um, I'm going to mend my wound so I can get some sanity back. Falling rocks. Leap out of the way. Ah, damn it. Fucked up our foot. Yeah, this is out of the death zone, although it is daytime. So I don't know if I want to sleep. I probably should, with this ankle. Yeah, let's sleep. Hmm. Ooh, yeah, we have tons of energy now. So I think I should get can't stop now. Plus three sanity per hour when moving for 16 hours. Can I go from there to there? Yes. Let's do that. Not gonna sleep there, but let's we'll see if I can get some equipment. Yes, our sanity is actually going up very slightly now. Explore, use my flashlight. Hot tea and food. Hmm. Avalanche thing. Search the deer stand. Free the fox. Yes. That is going to give us more sanity for 24 hours. Nice. Doing that and can't stop now, I think we'll be okay. It's only a little bit more sanity. But the plus 50% sanity gain in events is huge if I can manage to actually get some sanity in an event. Let's take single-minded because we're about to go through some nasty stuff. have a bunch of events here. Should be able to get some sanity from something. The trade. They want hot tea. Yeah, I'll gladly give that away. Hot tea for... 
hiking staff. Do I have a hiking staff? I have a climbing axe. Do I want a hiking staff? Meh. I do want an oxygen bottle though, because right now I don't even have one. Wait, I don't like this. I don't I don't like the way this is organized. I have to split the food. Wait, no I don't. There we go. Yes. I like to keep all the food items together. Like with like. Get back sanity. Yes. Mm, approach the camp. We lose some health. Did I get hit on the head? Yeah, something hits me on the head. God damn it. <laughs> uh, at least we get some XP. And it's daytime now. Okay. We're just in the death zone now, so let's put on my high quality oxygen mask. And let's keep it moving. Oh wow. Even with the oxygen mask, we're gonna lose that much oxygen? Okay. Wait, where the heck did these come from? Is this not the way I came? Well, I guess it isn't. It's a dead end. Wreck of a plane. Hmm. Take a quick look. Don't find anything. Get more for waking up. Follow the light. We get some sanity. I'm not gonna sleep. Hold on. Sacred little hidden cave. Rubble. Um, try to find a different path. Okay, we're fine. Follow the wind. We lose a whole bunch of temperature. We get high quality boots. Didn't we already have them? Oh no, we chose not to take them in favor of the snow boots, but now my temperature is really hurting. So, yeah, I'm going to put those on. That way I can have another item of temperature increasing stuff and also keep the oxygen mask on, which I definitely want on as well. What do I want to toss? I guess I probably don't need the worm cap anymore. No point in eating up the canned food. I'm maxed on energy. I definitely want the O2 tank. I could use the bandage. A little bit of a waste. I like to keep it for events as well. Yeah, let's toss the cap. Am I gonna sleep? <clears throat> it is nighttime, but I'm gonna lose oxygen. And I'm full on energy. So, nah. Still losing temperature, despite the boots. Losing temperature really, really fast, actually. Scary fast.
Oxygen is not all that much better. Still faster than I'd like. Follow the light. We get some sanity and experience. At least I'll gain temperature if I sleep. Yeah. I'm going to sleep for just a brief amount of time. Just for the sake of our temperature. I don't want to be out here at night when it's cold. That's just really bad. But it's going to be a nice, stormy day tomorrow. A warm, stormy day. There we go. Now we're gaining temperature. Nothing like a good storm to make you warm. Close container. Yeah, try to break it. Keep trying. Keep trying. Yes. Wind charm. We lose temperature, but we gain oxygen. That is useful at some point, but not right now. So I'll keep it. Eat some food to make some room for it. Since I just burned a ton of energy. Mm. I don't think I want to get these events because this is like... Oh wait, there is a pathway over there. Oh, interesting. I thought that was a complete dead end, but I guess not. Hmm. I'd rather take a more gradual climb though. That looks extreme. Oh, does my oxygen need to be above 60 for, like, something that I have? Pretty sure it does. I'm gonna take this oxygen bottle. Let's use single-minded. Terrain's not too good there, plus the storm is increasing the energy cost, and single-minded will overcome that. Get back warmth, yes. Oh, thank you. That one's a little awkward to get. But then again, I do want that. I want, I mean, I want everything. Give me everything. Let's go this way. Yeah, I haven't had to sleep in forever just because we keep getting energy from every point of interest. Because of the journalist's ability. It's so good. It really just keeps you going. And going and going and going. Ooh. This is the thing where you can get an auction bottle. Hmm. The fact that you use a stone to break the ice doesn't cost anything per se makes me think it's very dangerous. So let's do this. Yes, we got it. Hmm. I have two tents. I'm definitely not going to be resting under the stars. Let's... Warm thoughts. More body temperature when we use a consumable. Body temp is pretty much maxed. I'm just worried about my sanity now. Follow the noise. Use my flashlight. We get a bandage. Okay, I'm gonna use up the one we have. Replace it. Yeah, no need to sleep. So we can nab some sanity over here. Stone goat. 
You rub your eyes in wonder. The boulder in front of you has a strange, unnatural shape. You take a closer look. Two spires of rock seem to be growing out of an elongated skull carved from stone. There's even a suggestion of a beard on its chin. You don't know why, but it makes you happy to see this monument to the mountain goats. It makes me happy too. Oh, that's a lot of sanity. 33.3. Easy enough to go get that. I might as well. Alright, the unknown fruit. Well, I think that gives you energy, which I don't need at all. So, we're just going to continue. That's a little too far out of the way. It's going to eat up a lot of oxygen, so... Let's not do that. I just can't see shit, though. That's, that's the problem. Looks like we kind of just have to go this way. There, now I, now I can actually see something. Ah, we gotta go down. Okay. Ah, my oxygen is below 60 again. Um, let's stay and look around. Let me get some experience. See if we can nab some more sanity. Or oxygen. Sanity. Is it oxygen bottle? Yeah, I do want it. I'm definitely going through oxygen bottles pretty fast. And we got another. Good. Okay, where am I? Oh, Jesus. Not getting that. Guess we just have to kind of go up there. No. No. Ah, just a little bit of health lost. Oh man, this is a lot of impassable terrain. But there is apparently a route through it. Probably worth getting. Actually, no, don't take the route. It's a horrible route. Better. Hoping for sanity. Or oxygen, I suppose. Oh, I'm below 60 again. Sanity. And a level up. experience. Yeah, let's use this oxygen bottle. Top it up.
A lot of bad terrain. Let's use single-minded. Hmm. My body temperature is maxed, so I might as well put something on for ice or snow. I guess snow? I don't want to micromanage it too much, but I think it's mostly snow. No, no! Ah, oh. Bad route. Whatever. Follow the wind. We get an injured torso, with which affects our oxygen, which before wasn't a big deal, but now is actually kind of a huge deal. Do I sleep? It's not going to reduce my oxygen use, I don't think. Does it? Does it take less oxygen to sleep for six hours than move for six hours? I mean, logically, yeah. But I don't know if it actually does. Quite possibly not. So, nah, we're going to keep moving. Jesus Christ. Two events up there. Worth it? No. Wait, can I get that easily? No. Two out of the way. Let's switch back to the insulated boots. Oh, found a hiding place. Mm. Spend energy or time? Time is oxygen, so let's spend energy. I have a lot of food. Ah, uh, we managed to cut ourselves. Why do we do that like every time we do that event? I swear. Yeah, I'm seriously worried about my oxygen. I think I should put the wind charm on. Am I going to gain oxygen? No, but I am losing it more slowly. It's going to greatly increase how fast we lose our temperature, though. Sanity or energy sanity? Ooh, a moon herb, nice. Yeah, let's just take that right now. That'll also give us some temperature. Oh, there's so many events up there. Yeah, I think I should go back. Each one's going to top up my energy. Mm, let's just leave the cave. Fairy lights. Oh, man. Oh, man, our oxygen, though. Shit. Even with the wind charm. Shit. That's really bad. Why am I whispering? No, oh, no. Mm. If I try to find a different path, I'm going to lose some oxygen. Keep going anyway. We take some health damage. That's fine. I hope this can give me oxygen. We get sanity. Oh, but this maybe... Uh, no. Hmm. 
Let's get more body temperature. Okay, there's more vents around here. Oh, right, we gained some oxygen from leveling up. Okay, good. Let's just get more events. I need a freaking oxygen tank. Multiple, preferably. Spiders. Yeah, reach in. That's not an oxygen tank. That's a high quality hiking staff. I think it's worth going to. When you have a flashlight, anyway. Oh, we still have the injured hand. Not that it matters. Follow the light. Okay. Experience and sanity. Hmm. Let's use single minded. Uh, I don't want to worry about dying. We're so close. We're almost to the final mountain. Or like the, I guess this whole thing is a mountain, but we're almost to like the final peak. Sanity or warmth? Sanity. Follow the tracks. You spot a tent shelter from the wind between two sheer rock faces. Oh, they smile as they come out of their tent. And... Ah, oh, they want to give me a can of food. I don't really need that. Uh, yeah, I really don't need that. I'll just thank them but decline the gift. And I get good conscience. Yeah, that's not happening. I'm really worried about my oxygen. Like, I'm about to run out right there. I'm not exactly sure what happens when you run. I assume the same thing as everything else. It does feel like oxygen is a little more urgent than other things, but it's probably the same effect. I think it's worth going down here just because, fuck. If I level up, if I can get XP and level up, I'll get oxygen. Oh my god, our temperature's horrible. Oh, it's because it's nighttime and it's freezing. Well, I need XP. Dig out the chest. Canned food, not what I need, but do I have enough XP? No, I didn't get enough XP. Fuck. Oh, that's really bad. Ah. Oh, no. Oh, no. If I eat food, it'll give me temperature. Well, there's no point in having this wind charm on if I don't have any oxygen. I can't lose nothing faster. So that at least will help with my temperature. Um. Fuck. I, I see like no events near me. None. No. Oh, Christ. Oh, no. <laughs> Listen to the voice and take over. It hurts my sanity. That hurts my temperature. and takes three hours. And now my eyes hurt. Because it's so fucking bright. Okay, time is more important than energy. I have food. So, direct routes. Oh, 
Oh, fuck me. I just see, like, no events at all. Fuck. Wait, can I even go up this way? No, I think you have to go around. Like, that won't lead up. That'll lead to these couple events, but... There's probably events over here and I just can't see them. I'm taking dumb direct routes. Foamy spittle. Oh god, we lose some health. Fuck. Jeez, a bandage. That'll give us some warmth. Oh, this is really bad. Oh god. <gasps> We've come so close. Please. Mmm. Mmm. Ow. Please give me some event that gives me XP even. I'll take just XP. I'm not forgetting something, am I? Something I can use here? Like if you sleep... Wait, what? Hold on. I get oxygen back if I sleep? I think it's only because I'm at zero. Because how long I sleep doesn't affect how much oxygen I get back. It's just a straight seven. Oh. That's... That makes a huge difference. Holy shit. I think that just saved my ass. If I can just sleep every time I run out, I have two tents. Oh, I gain oxygen because I get more when I wake up. That's one of the things it gives you is oxygen. Right. Okay, and I don't want to... Yeah, so every time I sleep, I'll... Wait, no, this time I'm not going to get oxygen? I'm so confused. I was thinking of sleeping again because I don't think I want to walk through the night in cold, but it's actually not cold. It's just stormy, so... Okay. Um... I guess we can go back to using the charm. Taking a little bit more of a careful route. Yeah, I can just sleep every time I'm out of oxygen. I'll, I'll be okay. Glacier. Let's use my energy. Oh, we have single-minded. I'll just use that. Maybe I can find a tank in there. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Follow the wind. <laughs> okay, I'm going to level up, which is going to give me oxygen, which is nice. But I also have a messed up torso, which is minus two oxygen per hour when moving. Fuck. You know, if I sleep, I'll gain oxygen again, for whatever reason. I don't quite understand how that works, but I'll take it. I would like to rest until it's at least sunny. I know it's going to be a cold day, but at least it's sunny. It's nice to be able to see. Hmm... I guess 100% more experience gain. The other ones are not useful. Okay, there's a bunch of events over here. Oh, that's weird. What about these three events? Same pathway? Okay. Actually, do I have to go that way? Like, if I wanted to actually get up there. No, there's a more direct route. Now the question is, do I just beeline straight for the top, or do I try to find an oxygen tank around here? I think I want to try to find an oxygen tank around here. It's 
stop. Do I have the charm? I do have the charm. Got him. Losing oxygen so fast. Despite that. Oh, right. My messed up torso. That basically undoes what the charm does. Wait, this is a dead end. Why did I do that? Oops. Yeah, there's only one way to go. Critical. Follow the smell. We get some XP. I'll lie down and sleep. We'll get some oxygen. I'm gonna lose body temperature. Yeah, I want it to be closer to daytime. I need to be able to see so I can actually figure out where the hell I'm going. It's cold, but we'll overcome that with single minded. Four events all clustered. Nice. And it's daytime. Warmth or health? Warmth. Old pittens. Um, climb the wall. Oxygen tank. Yes. Ah, that helps immensely. I'm going to take off. No, actually, I'm going to leave the charm on. Body temperature is less of a concern than oxygen. We get some sanity back. Thing is, I don't know what's going to happen after we get to the peak, right? At the summit. There might be something else. There probably isn't, but there might be. So I'd rather not get there, like, half dead. Oh shit. There's a mountaineer sitting listlessly on the icy ground. Oh, I can't encourage them to stand up. I'm gonna lose all my oxygen if I do that. I'm sorry. Good luck. Follow the noise, use my flashlight. Climbing rope, okay. Surprisingly, I'm not gonna lose that much oxygen by sleeping. I don't really understand why, to be honest, but I don't need to sleep. Okay, we're doing better. Let's, ugh. What is a pathway I can take? That is a pathway I can take. Let's just get there. Hold on, hold on. Now would be a good time to use climbing rope. Corpse in the ice. Hmm. Free it. We lose temperature and some oxygen. We gain 
a helmet. Wow, thank you. But we leveled up. That's very nice. That gives us oxygen. Does it give us oxygen? Or am I remembering wrong? Now I'm not sure. I think it does. Anyway. This is not going to be active. This I definitely don't want. I guess under the stars. Don't really need it, but... Yeah, let's just keep burning the climbing rope. Let's get this real quick. Oh, an injured mountaineer. Try to help him spend energy to do that? Yeah, sure. We lose sanity. Did they die or something? I suppose I should have read it. like no sanity left but we're gonna make it just hope to god we don't have to do anything else after is this it oh no we're about to yeah we're gonna make the final steps with our sanity at zero Mm, funeral procession. That gives us paranoia. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We got this, yes. <sighs> on top of the world. You are standing on top of the world, gazing at the sea of clouds surrounding the other peaks. Incredulous, exhausted, but proud. You were so moved that for a moment you forgot what you're doing here. But the shrill siren soon jolts you back to reality. You quickly place the amulet on a flat rock. It's radiating heat, so hot that you burn your hands. The siren rises in tone, and the pulsing gets stronger and stronger. Then there is an ear-splitting bang, lightning, stark white light. You fall to your knees and close your eyes. The shrill siren comes to a sudden stop. You blink. There is a crack in the air directly in front of you, a window into the station. It has changed. A lot. Have you done it? You bend over. Warm air blows across your face. Then you place a foot over the threshold. Wait, hold on. Let's look at this. So this is the tear that's opened up in reality. Oh, that's the young, um, mysterious woman? I don't think they've ever given a name. And yeah, holding a teddy bear, just like in that other anomaly we've encountered. The, the girl who spoke to us backwards and asks us for food or drink. It said that they were holding a teddy bear. I don't think skill points matter anymore, but thank you. Game completed! Oh, that's it. Dang it. I was hoping for a more involved end, but I guess I was kind of expecting that. The story was unfortunately quite light, which I think makes more sense when you consider the fact that um, I forgot to mention this, but they actually basically added that entire sci-fi storyline thing. They actually added any storyline at all in patch 2.0. They kind of relaunched the game with it, but it wasn't in the original 1.0 of it. So it does feel slightly tacked on because I think it basically is. 
I guess it probably wasn't envisioned to have anything like that at the start if they added it in patch 2.0. I'm not sure. It's also possible they just ran out of resources and did plan it from the start, but regardless. Hmm. Yeah, I did all the side missions. Penalty for deaths? Zero. I never died. I almost died twice, but I never died. I don't really have anything to compare the score against, so I don't really know how good that is. That has been insurmountable. Just some quick thoughts. I loved it. Um, it definitely has a lot of flaws, for sure. I feel like it needed maybe four times the events that it had. I really wish it had more fleshed out characters and story, but there's something about it that's really charming, and I've certainly never played anything like it. And there's not many games with a mountaineering kind of aspect to it. It's quite unique. I really enjoyed it. I hope you did as well. Thanks for watching. You're in the station. A young girl is standing in front of you with a teddy bear in her arms, her mouth agape. She points at you. No, not at you, but at the glowing red amulet on the rock on the other side of the crack. You quickly lean into the crack, which is getting narrower and narrower. Just as you're about to grab the amulet, you're forcefully thrown back into the station. You're dazed and can only watch as the crack closes for good. Then your vision turns black.